This week on Midmo J, turkey season's coming to an end, but not before one more encounter with a gobbler. With turkey season quickly coming to an end, I was trying my hardest to get myself in front of a gobbler. The gobblers were hinned up and not calling well, and mainly staying on the neighbor's land where I could not hunt them. On the last day of the season, I finally decided I was not going to call that much. I was just going to hunt them more like deer. With as much rain as we had, I knew they'd be patrolling the fields and eating grubs and bugs in the fields, most likely in the mid-morning. It's not the funnest style of turkey hunting, but it can be productive. And if I could just find a gobbler doing what this hen is doing. About 7.30, I set up on a known travel corridor right on the edge of the field. Right below this field is a creek where the turkeys like to wander during the middle of the day. My hope was to coax them out of the creek bottom and kill them right here in the corner of this field. About 8 o'clock, I heard a gobble in the creek bottom. And about 15 to 20 minutes later, here he come. That, my friends, is the capper on what has been a very, very aggravating season. Probably one of the worst I've ever had. Um, that bird was at the base of the hill from out setting up in that field. It's kind of a travel corridor. They're not calling very good. So I figured I'd set up in a travel corridor and just set it out and almost like deer hunting. Kind of like how I killed that Jake, this time on a different travel corridor. And he gobbled once at the base of the hill uh, about 20 minutes before uh, I shot at him. And I clucked a couple times, but I didn't really make much noise because they're call shy and I didn't really want to spook him. So I just set him out hoping maybe he'd come up that hill. he come up the hill perfect and I just plain out missed. I don't, I don't know, I plain out missed. That's the first gobbler I've had all year within shooting range, and I missed him. So, I guess that's hunting, but I'm very disappointed at this moment with myself missing that turkey. I stepped off 45 yards. This gun, I've patterned it to 50, so. I didn't get rushed myself. I got up against a tree. I got steady. I squeezed the trigger and I missed him. It's turkey hunting. I'm headed back to the truck. My season's over. So turkey season has come to an end and what a challenging year it was. They did not behave. They did not call. They did not pattern. And at every turn, it seemed like something went wrong. But on the bright side, we did get two birds killed. Dylan killed his Jake and I killed my Jake. So there is fresh turkey in the freezer at the very least. With turkey season now over, it's time to start food plot season. Over the next two weeks, I've got some spraying to do and two food plots to plant. This past weekend, I did get a chance to get out and look at my clover plot and it's looking very well. With all the rain, it is very lush and green. I also got a chance to get out and spray the bean plot with some herbicide so it'll be ready to plant next weekend. Over the next few weeks, I will be bringing you lots of tips on food plotting, chemicals, and some fishing along the way. We may have not met all our goals during turkey season, and it may have not went exactly the way we wanted it to. But we're only a third through this year, and we've got a lot of fishing and hunting left to do.